guys welcome to planning with crystal so i'm going to do a little overview of drunk elephant it's coming to the uk on the 3rd of october so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a little look through show you all the different products that are coming to the uk i'll also have the prices in the seymour box underneath i'll only be using prices that have been officially confirmed by one of the retailers that will be selling the products in the uk which at the moment on launch day is going to be cult beauty and space nk as more prices are released, I'll add them in the Seymour box so that you've got that information. I don't want to put any information there that could be wrong. So what I'm going to do, we'll go through all of the products. We'll have a little talk about what each one does. And I'll recommend what I think are the best products to start off on. I'll also mention some products that aren't yet going to be available in the UK, but hopefully will come soon. As well as a product that may never make it to the UK, but you might want to know about it if you have the opportunity to purchase it when in another country. There's also going to be a link underneath in the Seymour box to the Space NK website. If you use that link to sign up for their free loyalty program, you'll get £10 off your first order over £40 and you'll also get free delivery. So that's a great opportunity to save a bit of money on Drunk Elephant as well. So without further ado, let's have a look through the products. So Drunk Elephant has three different cleanser options. You've got two cleansing bars and also a jelly cleanser. So first of all, this is one of their cleanser bars. It's called the Peaky Bar. This is a really gentle cleanser. This is for clarity and balance, as it says. And you can just see it's got the elephant there engraved into the soap. It's quite a large size. I find this lasts me around about six months when I'm using it a few times a week. I also use it on the body and you can wash your hair with it as well. So it's a really great all round product. It's been produced at the perfect pH balance for your skin, which is 6.51. Like I said, super, super gentle. I have really sensitive skin and I mean, I can tolerate all the Drunk Elephant products, but this in particular is one of the most gentle look at the packaging as well on this i think it's just gorgeous we then have another cleansing bar this is the juju bar and this one is for your exfoliation so we'd only use this a couple of times a week as opposed to the peaky bar which you could use every day if you wanted to incidentally drunk elephant advised that you only cleanse in the evenings so as not to disrupt the skin by kind of over cleansing um, in the morning so they just say splash your water your face with water in the mornings and just use your cleansers at night but as i said this one is for exfoliation and you don't want to over exfoliate so this is cleanse and exfoliate that's what they say and this one aims to remove dead skin cells from the surface while cleansing it has thermal mud and bamboo powder in there as well and this one is at a pH balance of 6.34, which is also great for your skin. Again, that's some nice funky packaging there as well. And I think that one would last even longer because you would only be using it a couple of times a week. Then we have their jelly cleanser. This is the box it comes in, and this is what the product itself looks like. This is to purify and dissolve your makeup. You can apply it to your skin just as a dry jelly, and then add some water to kind of cleanse the skin, or you can mix it with water and then apply it to your face. It's up to you. There's a few different ways you can do it, whichever you prefer. And this is at the pH level of 5.9. Again, all really kind of balanced for your skin, so it won't disrupt anything. It will just gently cleanse away. And you can use it on your eye makeup and everything as well. So that's another option. If you're not feeling the bar cleansers, this is a good option. And if you do wear facial makeup, they say this is the best kind of cleanser to use for that rather than somebody who maybe doesn't wear makeup incidentally since i've been using drunk elephant i haven't found the need to wear foundation anymore because it's really kind of cleared up any skin issues that i've had so i don't really feel that need to do that anymore now we're on to some of the serums now this is c firma and it's their day serum this is your packaging again all the packaging is really kind of funky and modern i think so this is your vitamin c serum it also has vitamin e in there as well it's all about brightening the skin and it's one of those products that when you use it you really do tend to notice the difference from using this now because it's got vitamin c in there if you're using this you're going to need to use an spf every day which you should use anyway to protect your skin but it is just something that's worth bearing in mind 
online if you're going to use this product because otherwise your skin could become more sensitive to the sun and the light because of the treatment that's going on there if you're not wearing any SPF. So the product itself, it comes in these airtight pumps and you just twist like that and then pump down and they say to apply this in the daytime only. We also have their nighttime serum. This one is TLC from Boost. This is actually a smaller size. It's not a full size. It came in a kit that I bought once. This is a 15 mil. It would normally be a 30 mil size and they also do a larger 50 mil size. The 30 mil size is the same size as the seafoam I just showed you. But again, it will come in a twist up pump like this. And this is just really great as a chemical exfoliant. This is a blend of your AHAs and BHAs and it's really great just to get rid of any texture in the skin. I used to really suffer with texture and then when I started to use this, it just completely cleared away that particular issue for me. So I'd really recommend it. It just really feels like it clears your skin of anything that might like block pores, things like that. It's a really, really great product. Um, so this is another good one if you're getting started with Drunk Elephant. This is B. Hydra. So this at the moment, it was always called the B Hydra Hydration Gel. It's now been renamed to B Hydra um, Serum. They've added, I think, another ingredient. I'll change it up a little bit, but essentially it's still the same product. Again, this is actually a bigger size. This is 50 mil, which is the full size in this. You actually get more product in this particular one. Um, so your full size, you actually get another 20 mil of product over most of the other serums. It also does tend to be cheaper than the other serums as well, because this is essentially a really great hydrating moisturizer. It's a clear gel and you can add it to your moisturizers or use it even on its own. It's even really good for oily skin as well as really dry skin and it just gives a boost to anything that you put it with. It's got things like pineapple ceramide in there, pro vitamin B and it's just a really great a, a drink for your skin is how they kind of describe it and if you are going to wear makeup it will go on better when you've used a product like this. I like to mix up little kind of potions for my skin. If you're interested in that, then definitely stick around on the channel. Hit the subscribe button. I will be doing a video of my AM and PM routines if you want to see how I use the products on a day-to-day -day kind of basis. Now I'm gonna show you the eye creams from the Drunk Elephant range. This is their Sharba Complex Eye Serum. So this one has copper peptides in there and it's to age, defy, and illuminate. It's another twist up pump and a 15 mil size. Now for me, this was a product that really helped me. I was really struggling with dryness around my eyes. I was actually getting eczema and things there. And even a dermatologist wasn't able to fix the issue without throwing steroids at it, which aren't good for your skin. This, whatever's in it, the copper peptides, whatever it is about it, it really kind of calmed down any irritation. It's really helped with fine lines and it's super lightweight as well. So if you don't like a really heavy eye cream, you will enjoy this because it is really light, lightweight, but also really, really moisturizing. So this is an amazing eye cream and I won't be without it. I've also found if I do have any other little areas of irritation on my skin, if I put this on, it instantly kind of calms things down. So it's really, really great for fixing little problems that you might have. The other eye cream that they have is C Tango. Now this one they describe as if Proteiny, which is a moisturizer I'm going to show you in a moment, and C Firma had a baby. It's kind of like a mixture between the two. So this one is all about firming and brightening. Again, a 15 mil size, little twist up cap. This is a thicker cream. I actually would apply this in the morning and maybe the other one at night time. Again, check out my routines if you want to see exactly how I'm using the products. Um, but this is particularly good if you have any discoloration under the eyes caused by sun and things like that. This will over time gradually brighten that. It'll still help with moisturizing and fine lines and things as well. So if that's what you need in your routine, this might be a good eye cream for you to try. Now we're going to have a look at the Drunk Elephant moisturizers. Now this one is your La La Retro. So this is their really moisturizing kind of moisturizer. Moisturizing kind of moisturizer? You know what I mean. This is for rehab and recover. This is particularly great for someone with dry skin. Now the way this works, it has a little pump. You just press it up and the product comes out like that. You can see it's a really thick moisturizing cream and it's kept super super protected from the elements in here because it is all dark and enclosed so it's much more hygienic than like a moisturizer that you would 
you know just stick your hands in every day and things like that and um, but it's a really amazing moisturizer i particularly like to use this if i am suffering from dry skin or if i just need a bit of extra moisturizer because it's winter things like that this is a really really great option it's a thick moisturizer but when it sinks into your skin it does sink into your skin it doesn't sit on top of the skin it doesn't feel like you're wearing a heavy moisturizer but it does the trick if you know what i mean and the other moisturiser is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This is a rather new product for drunk elephants. When it first came along, I was like, I've got La La Retro. Do I really need another moisturiser? But this, it's like, it's again, it's like a product. It's got something in it. What is in it? But it's it just does really amazing things for your skin. So when they brought this out, they described it as kind of like the protein shot when you go into the gym, but for your skin. And it really does strengthen the skin. I actually stopped using this for a few days once when I ran out and I actually did notice the difference. You mix this in with your other products or use it on its own and it really does feel like it's just strengthening everything, making everything feel better. Any issues you've got, it kind of calms them down. It's a really, really great product. It's got a nine signal peptide complex and a water lily blend. It's another one where you flip it up and you push down on the top to release the product. But as I said, this is a much lighter cream and that just really sinks into the skin. I'd kind of recommend that one for anyone with any skin type, but particularly maybe if you've got oily skin and you don't want a thick moisturizer like La La Retro because you don't need that hydration, or maybe you do, but polypeptide cream is a really great version for you and your skin i would say then we've got the lip balm this one is called lippy balm it's likely to be the most the cheapest product that they do because it is a lip balm but it is really nicely moisturizing i mean it's not an essential in your routine but it is a really nice lip balm it's also great to apply under the eyes and to bits of your skin if you just want a little hit of moisturization you can use that for that even though it is essentially a lip balm this one has got Mongongo nut oil in it to moisturize your lips. And it is a really nice long lasting lip balm. Once you've applied it, you don't feel like you need to keep reapplying it every two minutes. Like some lip balms that I feel almost make you feel like once you start applying lip balm, you better not stop because you know, your lips are used to it. So yeah, I, I like it. It's a good lip balm. Then I want to get on to a little kit that Drunk Elephant will also be releasing when they launch in the UK. Now this was purchased in America so the outer packaging will vary slightly because there is a product in here that's missing for the UK market because it is a product that they can't sell initially on launch. So this is the little kit. The bag will be the same for the UK though from the pictures and things I've seen. So it's a little zip up bag. It's made out of this bright pink kind of white clean material and it opens like this and it has a little leaflet inside saying the littles with information about each product it's also a good introduction to drunk elephant if you want to try lots of products without having to buy the full sizes initially also has a super cute little elephant on there and it has press studs under the bottom and how that works is once the bag is unzipped and you put the two press studs together it will hold its shape like this which when I show you the products that go in there, you'll see how this would stand up if you had it on your nightstand or dressing table or what have you when you're traveling. So the products, they kind of stand up like this in the little bag. So it's quite a cool little design and then it zips up with everything inside to keep it all together for you as well. So let's have a quick look at everything that comes inside the kit. So you get a little travel size of the Bestie Jelly Cleanser. It's a 30 mil size and it just twists open at the bottom and comes out of this little hole, twist it to shut it. So a great little cleanser to get you started on your whole drunk elephant experience. There's also a 15 mil size of the Lalo Lala Retro Cream which is a decent size sample. You can use this kit, I would say, five, six weeks before you'd be running out of it. So it's a good way to actually test everything out and see if it's gonna work for you. Now, it will include a small version of the Sea Firma Day Serum. I haven't actually got 
one left because I did actually use it up when I was last traveling. And we get a eight mil size of your C Firma Day Serum, which is the same size as this little eight mil size of the B Hydra Gel. So you're getting that as well. Then you're also getting the Virgin Marula Oil. Now I haven't shown you this. I've just realized I forgot to include this earlier on, but this is their facial oil. It's a super gentle, um, oil it's the virgin marula oil it's something that's in all the products because it's the basis for the whole brand and this is an 8 mil size but they do full sizes in a 15 mil and 30 mil size which i'll need to purchase at some point as it's running out but these last a really long time the marula oil because you're literally using one or two drops when you use it in your routine you're not using very much at all and um, these are in little pump bottles incidentally in the little kits so again it's still protecting your product and keeping everything clean and fresh so you get an 8 mil size of that in there and that's particularly good to use alongside your evening serum the tlc from boost of which there's also an 8 mil size of this in there as well so you can either mix the two together Together, or you could apply this and a bit of marula oil afterwards because this is a really in-depth product sinking in your skin fixing all those issues sometimes it's nice to put the marula oil on just to kind of moisturize and freshen up the skin even if you've got oily skin it does work really well as a little combo then there is also a little mini eye cream this is the shabba complex eye cream that we talked about earlier the little eye serum uh, again little dropper bottle this one is a five mil size which sounds tiny but it's still a third of the size of the full size eye cream so it will still last you a really really long time then let's get into the products that won't yet be coming to the UK but hopefully will be here in the future. So I talked about SPF before. This is Drunk Elephant's SPF. This is the Umbra Sheer Physical De Daily Defense. It's a really long name. <laughs> kind of day um, SPF thing. <laughs> so this is their Sheer, as it says, Sheer SPF. Now their SPF, instead of it being chemicals that sink into your skin and protect you, this is actually a physical SPF. So it's something that sits on your skin and basically stops the sun rays and things penetrating into your skin and damaging your skin but it also gives you a really nice glow um and it, although it is physical it does sink into the skin really well it doesn't sit on top of your skin i mean i'm wearing it now and i, I don't think that it's particularly showing up that i'm wearing it if you see what i'm saying let me know maybe it is um but this comes in a 90 mil size like i said it's not going to be uh, here in the uk at launch unfortunately but hopefully it will get here soon this is kind of what I use instead of foundations during the day. Again, check out my AM routine if you want to see exactly how I'm using the products during the day. But they also do a tinted version of the sheer Umbra. This one is Umbra Tint. And it's just got a little bit of a colour to it, as you can see there. You can actually mix the two together to kind of make it work for your skin tone. Or if you've got a slightly darker skin tone, this one would probably suit you better. This is a 60ml size. But again, it lasts a really long time because you're not using much. And you can use this in place of a foundation if you want to add a little bit of colour to the skin without having to slather on heavy foundation or anything else to kind of mask the skin you just don't need it and these do protect your skin as well from the sun of course which is what they're for now another super exciting product now i'm not sure if this is coming to the uk on launch i haven't found any information either way um but this is a relatively another relatively new product for drunk elephant they're always bringing out new ones this one is called the d bronzy anti-pollution sunshine serum they like the super long names don't they so this is essentially a bronzer and it's like a dark golden brown color and this uh, you can just mix in with your umbra or you can use it without as just to give your skin that kind of just got back off holiday vibe as they say and um, but it works really well really small amount needed and it does make you look healthier and it also is said to protect from pollution and things in the air so particularly if you live somewhere where there is a lot of pollution when you're out and about walking this will protect you from that so it's doing good while also making your skin look amazing which is kind of the whole thing with drunk elephant and finally, the big one that I don't think will ever get to the UK. This is the TLC Baby Facial. So this is their once a week mask. I mean, you can use it twice a week, but they market it as a once a week mask. And this is, as it sounds, baby facial. It's supposed to give you baby skin. And it works with a combination of your AHA and BH. AHA and BHA acids 
but the level of acid in this product which is 25 percent is way too high to be sold in the eu at the moment the us is the only place licensed to sell this so it isn't going to be an easy one to get hold of if you live in the uk because they're not going to be able to sell it over here which is a real shame because it really does work it clears your skin of any pores or issues like that um, it's kind of a stronger version of the tlc so if you're in the uk i guess you're just going to have to make do with the tlc unless you can get over to the states or get someone to send you this but it's such a shame i mean i wanted to include it just so that people are aware it exists um, and it's a shame like i said that this isn't something you can get in the uk and it's really cool as well because when you buy this over in the states you even get like a little version of the virgin marula oil little three mil sample because this is something else that you should apply after using the baby facial but if you're lucky enough to have picked up one of these let me know what you think of it because i personally think it kind of cures a multitude of sins in your skin so it's a really great product now, if you're not familiar with the whole drunk elephant thing, it is still relatively new. The idea, philosophy behind the brand is that the products are formulated perfectly so that your skin is not sensitised by any of the ingredients because they believe that there are six major things in your skincare products and in your makeup that are actually causing the reactions and irritation that you may be finding in your skin. For me personally, my experience with this brand, I've been using it since the start of 2018. My skin was red all the time, itchy, I had texture, I had facial eczema, and I'd used just about every brand out there that promised to fix these problems without any success. I stripped everything back, just used Drunk Elephant, and all those issues have cleared up. So, if you're new to the whole Drunk Elephant brand, where should you start when this launches? Now, of course, it's gonna depend on how much you want to spend and how much you have available to spend. It's not a cheap brand. I don't find it a cheap brand at all. It is expensive. I sacrifice not buying other things to buy these products because of the differences they make in my skin. Um, and for me, I find it worth it. All these products have been purchased by me, which must tell you how much confidence I have in the brand to keep buying the products. Um, because I believe in them and they work for me. If you're starting out, something like the Littles kit would be a really good option for you to try a lot of the range and also to cut out any skincare that you might be using now because in a way, there's no point carrying on as you are and just adding one product because you might not see the differences because the products you're currently using could be causing some of your issues, if you have issues. Um, so, I mean, that's up for you how, you, how you like to do it. If we're talking about the products that I think really make the difference in your skin, if you really wanted to see specific results, I'd say Sea Firma is an excellent wear place to start. This one, it really just brightens your skin every day. It just really, you can see such an improvement from the vitamin C. So if you wanted to start, Sea Firma is one of the top products I would suggest. Another I would suggest as a major a great place to start is your TLC from Boost Night Serum. This is the one, like I said, clearing the multitude of skin issues, textures, clearing your pores. This is a really great one. And you'll see results quite quickly with things like this. Certainly I did. Proteiny, seriously, just buy this, use it. You will see a difference, I promise you. Strengthening the skin, making your skin look better. It's just amazing. So this is another great one. And for me personally, I like this eye cream. If you have any irritation on your skin, any dryness, any sensitivity, this is the eye cream you're going to want to go for. So let me know, what did you think of this video? Would you like to see more Drunk Elephant videos? Will you be watching my AM and PM routines? Like I said, there'll be a link underneath the video as well to, for all the prices and also that link to Space NK if you do want £10 off your first order. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you'll give me a thumbs up and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more of my videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.